Hey guys, how you doing? It's Shane. Welcome back down to the workshop. Hope you're having a good day. So yeah, here's the final part of the shield build, as promised. Uh, this video is mainly going to be uh, me showing you how I painted it after the latex in was done. So you've seen me do latex in before. If you need me to go over that again, let me know in the comments below. I'll go over that in another video. But the latex in was done, the black coating was done, and then I started painting it by hand, and so you could see it all. Uh, so yeah, we used uh, usual f effects, we did the, the wood effect, which I've done a video on before, and we used the steel effect, which I've also done a video on for. So uh, you can look back on the playlists, I think that's in the detail in sections playlist, and you'll be able to find how I do those techniques. Uh, and then there was a, a little bit of weathering, which again I've covered before. So it's basically just a quick show of how we went from a plain black uh, shield to this now this is all done apart from the varnish I've just got to varnish this but I wanted to show you it unvarnished so we have the steel effect we have the wood effect we've done the the uh, the weathering in between so this is now ready to go okay and on the back she's uh, these are wrapped so I can uh, varnish all this without getting it all over the, the uh, straps so I'm going to show you how I did that uh, it's not going to be a massive video, but it's going to be uh, a new one because I'm going to try and do a voiceover. So not only are you learning, but so am I. So it's a, a big process for us both. But if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell. You'll be alerted when I go live with new stuff. And if you want to see other things I've done before, you can look in the uh, description below and you'll see all my social media links uh, and the Patreon link if you want to help me and the channel out. I'd appreciate it. So yeah, let's jump straight in, guys. So we're about to start with the uh, wood effect. Now there's two colours in the wood effect. You have a dark brown and you have a very light brown. So you want a really good contrast between the two. I tend to use Tamara paints mixed with the Flexi Paint Clear. And uh, it gives you a really nice uh, uh, flexible coat. Now what I'm doing here is I'm going around the edges first with a dark brown. And that wants to be around all the metal work. Basically, wherever there's metal hitting the wood, you want it darker because it would have burnt the wood as the metal would have heat, been heated to then sit on top of the wood. So it gives you that little bit of work, um, weathering work before we've even started weathering. And it does look good. So now we've come away from the edge and we're starting to do the first lines of our dark. So the dark wants to be in between the crevices. It also, you just want to do separate sections of dark and light. And I do it plank by plank. So right now I'm just doing the dark lines. Try and use quite a lot of paint because you want it to be able to blend with the lighter stuff. The dark always tends to dry pretty quick because you're leaving it on for so long. Once we get to that point, we're now putting in the lighter stuff. So this is the lighter shade we add, again, in between the dark lines. So you've got a, a line of dark, a line of light, a line of dark, a line of light. And you'll keep doing that. Once you've done all of the lines, you've got light and dark mixture, you need a fresh brush with a little bit of water, and you're trying to blend it up. So you want to blur the lines between light and dark. And that will give you a more natural wood effect, rather than just seeing bits of dark, bits of white, and then you know, a uniform coat. This is now ununiform and it looks more realistic. Once you've blended, you go over it with a hairdryer. Now once it's dry, it will darken naturally on its own. And that will give you the more realistic look of what you're going to do. If you need to, go back in with your lights or your darks, whichever you need, and just give it a little touch up. Just blend it in a bit more. You don't want it looking uniform. You want light and dark at all different random spots, like ancient wood would look like.
once all your light and dark is done you start going in with a wash now you want a really dark wash now what this is going to do you want it in all the little crevices and then you start wiping it off not too hard you want to leave some of the darkness behind as you can see it gets into all the nooks and crannies and really highlights those little indents and uh, highlights those details that you've put in again all the way around the edge it will darken it and make it look as though it's been burnt the metal has been burnt onto the wood Once you've gone over the whole thing with your wash, it should look now like ancient aged wood. And now we're time to go on to the steel. The silver coat has been covered in another video just like the wood coats were uh, but basically all we're doing is going over with a flexi paint silver okay and we cover everything that should be metal don't worry about your brush strokes it doesn't matter at this point we're literally just painting it on everywhere it needs to be careful about your edges and take your time if you do make a mistake quickly wipe it off the wood you don't want to leave that on obviously and just cover anything that should be metal in the basic flexi paint grey and you should only need one coat sometimes you might need two Once we've covered the boss in the centre and the top, we start making our way around the sides. Exactly the same, just cover it in one coat of silver, make sure you touch up on the edges. Once the edges are done, we're then onto the back. Now the back is just the same, it's nice and simple, one coat of flexi paint silver. You've just got one edge to look about in the inside, just be careful you don't want to go onto the black if you can help it. If need to, quickly wipe it off and you should be okay. Once all the flexi paint grey is done, we then go over it with a Tamara Chrome. Now what we do is we go over each edge, just gently brush off the edge, back towards yourself, and it gives it like this scraped steel effect. Once you've done all the edges, then it's literally dry brushing with a very little paint on your brush at all, and you just gently add in a little bit of highlight and silver to the grey effect. That will hide all your brush strokes, and you'll also get a really nice, authentic, old steel worn look. Once all the edges are done and all the dry brushing are done, this steel effect is then done. Don't forget you've got the sides, you've also got the back to do, but this is how it should start to look. So guys, that's it. That's how I did this uh, shield. You see me build it up in the previous episodes and in this one you just saw me painting it the only thing that's left to do is the varnishing which i will do off stream you've seen me do that before it's literally just going over it with the uh, isoflex uh, nothing new there but if you guys have uh, any questions or any ideas that you want me to try and put onto video for you please put a comment below and i'll get to you as soon as i can uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell and uh, 
that's it for this one guys hope you've enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one